A family is suing a local daycare after they say their baby came home with serious injuries. And their lawyer told us at least two other families called with similar claims after seeing our report on News 2 earlier this week. So we sent News 2's Ashley Yost to sit down with that family's attorney. Parents say their baby came home from this daycare, Live Oak Little School on River Road in Johns Island, with injuries three separate times, one of which landed her in the hospital hooked up to IVs. These are the pictures of the nine-month-old child, her arm swollen and blue after being bitten by a copperhead snake on the playground. My client had to go to the school to find her child um, in pain and follow her to the hospital, where she was informed by surgeons that she may have to have her hand amputated. Luckily for my client's family, the child's hand was saved by administering some antivenin, but um, that was not without a lot of pain and suffering and recuperation. And then a few months later, her parents say she came home with a dislocated shoulder. Other teachers that have come forward and other witnesses, we come to find out that the child was reprimanded in inappropriate fashion um, by way of corporal punishment. Jerking her up off the chair is what we believe happened. And finally, the nail came to the head. She noticed a hair clip had been clipped, kind of braided over her daughter's hair. And uh, my client didn't put that in the child's hair to start. So when she got home, she removed the hair clip and found a gash in the child's head. The family says more important than any one of these cases is the pattern. There was a systematic um, sort of neglect and turning of eyes and a sort of mindset that was allowed to permeate by the owners of the school. They've had multiple people make similar claims. Other families have come forward to speak with us and we're investigating their claims right now. And here's why he says this case matters. When children are entrusted with others and they can't necessarily speak. This is a case that helps kind of protect them and speak up for them and serve as a voice for them if things are not being handled correctly in these daycare facilities because these facilities are entrusted with one of our most important assets. I also went and talked to the owner of the daycare face to face. She said she had just talked to her attorneys and could only release this statement. I wrote it down. It says we are vigorously defending these allegations. That was the only information she said she's allowed to share. On John's Island, I'm Ashley Yost, News 2.